Good afternoon. I am Jennifer Raleigh Collins, and I am running to be Mississippi's next Attorney General. My dad grew up here in Neshoba County, and I am honored to be here. I have been here one time before as the guest of Ed and Gloria Williamson, and I called them family. And I visited my family's house today and was absolutely honored to be there. But when my dad grew up here in Neshoba County, when he was a young man, he could come to these fairgrounds. He could not come to these fairgrounds to enjoy the festivities because my hardworking dad was an African-American. And so I walk on this stage bringing him with me. I stand on this stage representing absolute beauty and strength of diversity, which is our great state. I stand here because I am determined to be the next Attorney General for the great state of Mississippi. I am determined to do what I have always done, protect, serve, and defend. While others may have been serving a governor or two, or building their political careers, based on family connections, I was serving this nation in uniform. I proudly and honorably served 32 years in the United States Army. I started out as Private Riley, and in 2017, I retired as Full Bird Colonel Collins. I lifted my hand to protect and defend the, the, this country and the Constitution from all enemies, foreign and domestic. That oath did not retire. It will not retire. I am a defender of freedom and the Constitution. As Mississippi's next Attorney General, I will lead from the front. Just as I led this nation's finest, its soldiers in times of peace and war. During my military career, I was called upon to successfully balance the security of our homeland with the respect for privacy and constitutional rights of this land's citizens. These are rights I swore to defend. I know from experience it does not have to be either or. We do not have to have a negative narrative of us versus them, you versus me. My service as a lawyer has been a continuation of a lifetime of service. Almost 20 years ago, I took a similar oath as an attorney that I would support the Constitution of the state of Mississippi and the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. I have and I always will adhere to that oath. I work diligently daily, and I will work fiercely to protect all of the law, not just one or two amendments. It is my dedication to the Constitution, the rule of law, and the principles and values upon which this country was established that compel me forward when I see dignity and decency of our nation under attack from enemies, foreign and domestic. I will fight for the people of Mississippi by ensure, ensuring that the law is upheld and that it is applied fairly and justly for all. I will hold those who do harm to hardworking Mississippians accountable, be ye man, or corporation. I will protect our children who are victimized by career politicians who only want to serve a segment of Mississippi citizens in order to serve themselves. I will defend those who have harmed, whether by who have been harmed, whether by the flooding in the Mississippi Delta or by adverse environmental impacts from flood control projects on the Mississippi coast. I will fight against any law or measure which erodes the equal rights of others. I will not sit quietly by while Russian roulette is played 
with the fundamental pillar of our democracy, the right to vote. I will work with law enforcement and the community to make sure we all come home safe. I will work with prosecutors, legislators, and the courts to make criminal justice reforms that are intelligent and common sense. We must prioritize people over the prison industry. I will fight for our children who are under attack. Our children who are going hungry and dying because they have no access to an emergency room or who feel the traumatizing need to wear bullet resistant backpacks to school because leaders refuse to prevent gun violence by enacting gun safety measures. I will go to war on behalf of women, children, our elderly and veterans like myself, when our elected leaders choose to play political monopoly with the currency of their lives. I have been asked why I am running. First, let me tell you, I am not running to gain favor with any one man. I am not pro any one person. My Christian beliefs teach that I shall place no man nor worship any other as God before he who is God. I am running because the government is supposed to be for the people. I am running because every child in Mississippi should have the opportunity to grow and thrive, not merely survive. I am running to represent all. I am running because I represent what can happen when we do more than that which is adequate, but in fact provide quality education, access to health care, and economic opportunity. I am running because the law should be a shield and not a weapon. It should be used to heal and not hurt. I am running to uphold the law for all Mississippians. I am running so that every child can say, I am America, and I'm already great. So today, I thank you for your vote. Please remember to vote Jennifer Riley Collins to be Mississippi's next Attorney General on November 5th. God bless you, and God bless the great state of Mississippi.